Hey YouTube, how you doing? Today I'm going to be bringing you another Streamlabs OBS tutorial and today is going to be on a brand new feature just released and it's called the Layout Editor. Okay, And the way you're going to access this editor is on the left hand side of your Streamlabs OBS panel is going to be a four grid square Layout Editor tab. And when you pull this up you're going to see here you can select some preset layouts that act as grid squares for your actual dashboard here. So here I have kind of the scene selector down here on the left, the mixer on the right, sources in the middle. I have a little bit of a mini feed here that I can resize and all most of this can be resized as you wish. And then up top I have the editor display. Now I can actually go in here and add more tabs uh, make them different sizes. You can choose any of these layouts. And then once you choose the layout you want, you can actually reorganize them using these elements down here on the bottom left. And then once you have a layout selected, you can come down here on the bottom left and actually drag and drop in different elements to create the best display for your dashboard, right? So if you come down here, let me just pick one and let's say we want to do maybe this one here. So I'm going to keep my editor display up top and then I'm going to drag in, um, let's do a source selector here, a stream preview here. Uh, let's move our audio mixer down here to the left. And then this is kind of a cool feature as well. You can pull in a website and I have one set to twitter.com just for a, a test here but you can drag all this in and then when everything's where you want it you just hit save changes and as you can see my dashboard has now changed my editor display is still up here at the top so I can see everything on my stream that's going on all of the sources are now up here um, the chat mixer is down on the bottom left and then since I brought in that website element this pulls up a website down here so I can now use this to even monitor my Twitter feed or my Instagram page or my YouTube or anything like that. And that's probably my favorite feature out of everything besides just the ability to customize the sizes and move everything around. Um, the ability to bring in a website like that is pretty cool. And it doesn't have to be Twitter. You can come over here and you can go to if you just want the ability to search for something. Now this will pull up Google. So so now if you're looking up a question for somebody in your chat, you can come here and just type it in here. Um, if you're looking up for like a um, Call of Duty tutorial, you can type that in and it pulls it straight up here. So you can um, go straight to a YouTube link or something like that. But it's pretty versatile. Um, let's see what YouTube looks like. And there you go, it pulls up YouTube, and I wonder if you can even watch a video down here. You can, so that's pretty cool. You can even watch a video down here, and I'm sure you can resize this. Yep, so now you have the space to watch a video or anything like that you want to do. So that's probably my favorite feature, the ability to pull in a website here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can pull in multiple websites. For example, if I have YouTube down here, I can't pull one up here, it just switches the, the spot of that website element. Um, hopefully that's something they fix in a future update. I like the ability to maybe add two websites here, maybe one for YouTube, one for Instagram or Twitter, Instagram, whatever it may be. That would be pretty cool to add two different websites here or you know, even if you come over here to the six selector, add in maybe you know two or three websites on the bottom and then your mixer and your editor display and all that up top. So that would be a really cool feature if they can get the ability to add in two of the same panel. But other than that, this is a pretty good step in the right direction for making everything just more customizable to you when using Streamlabs OBS. It's really simple to use, it's intuitive, and I'm all for anything that makes the whole experience more customizable to the streamer. And it just makes it easier to have everything on screen that you need to see um, from chat to audio mixer, 
um, websites, stuff like that. So this was a really cool feature. I'm glad they added it in. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button for me. And if you want to see any other kind of tutorials or product reviews, make sure you subscribe to the channel. YouTube, we'll catch you later.